Welcome along everybody. Here we go, Rift level 90, or Greater Rift level 90, sorry. Yeah, since level 80, what have I changed? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I've done a load of bounties to get the parts needed to upgrade Captain Crimson Silk Girdle to Ancient Legendary. And then I had to do um, loads of bounties because I couldn't get the right stats on Captain Crimson's thrust, the legs. So I had to keep rolling and rolling until I got Ancient Legendary with the right stats that I needed so we've upgraded them too a uh, big shout going out to Mobius 1603 as well who commented on the last video and he pointed out something about the ghost flame which I've re-equipped um, compared to Ariax needle I thought that was better and then he put in the comments no ghost flame is better because of this and he explained it all and I changed back over to ghost flame and I was like wow holy my damage has just gone absolutely crazy so Massive shout out and I really appreciate it and if you know I do things and you spot something that I'm doing wrong you know by all means put in the comments section because it all helps as I try and get as far as I can with this character so it's much appreciated for him for putting that. Right without further ado let's get going as you can see let's have a look last played I'm up to 89 the next one is 91 but we're going to do level 90 because I like to keep it in tens for OCD purposes <laughs> just to prove it as well before we start that I haven't done it already um, leaderboards oh greater oh wrong one greater rifts witch doctor there we go 89 tier 89 that's one I've just done so we're going to go for tier 90 get that done and yeah hopefully it will go a through without any deaths it's been actually quite good up until now I haven't I haven't got to that wall yet you know when you get to a wall and you're like wow the damage is so much or I'm not doing enough damage and then you have to go and spend ages getting all your um, items augmented and now I haven't hit that brick wall yet which is nice and she's hopefully gonna complete level 90 quite easily now and there is so much I can improve on like the neck are still only legendary the ring there is still only legendary, not ancient legendary. The offhand is still only legendary. This ring is still only legendary. The shoulders, which I've spent so many, so much blood shards on, and I still haven't got ancient legendary. The chest is still only legendary. So there's so much I can improve on. Plus, I've got to augment everything. I've only augmented one thing so far, which was the gloves, and that's only at 355 intellect. But there we go. Anyways, let's crack on. I'll mute the mic and yeah, hopefully this will go through pretty flawlessly. Wish me luck. Embrace you. Time. 
more time.
Yours. My power is last. And there we go. <laughs> I thought I was going to die at the end then. When I got clipped by the boss, I thought I was going to die, but luckily I think I had like 2% health left and I could quickly pop a, um, a potion. But there we go, level 90, and as you can see, I wasn't paying too much attention to my health bar. I was glancing at it every now and then, and it was around 70%, 60% health it was taking me down. So I'm going to start coming up against that brick wall, I think, around level 93, 94, which is... I've got to start augmenting all my items now. So now, as the levels go up, it's like the damage doubles each level you go up. It goes up insane amounts. When you get to level 100, 101, 102, it's absolutely insane amounts of damage. And I could see my health bar was a little bit up and down then, so I'm going to have to start looking at improving that. Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to mention is, yeah, I'm not even you might have noticed the green circle going around me. That's because, at the moment, I'm using um, this... How is Wormwood? Locust Swarm continuously plagues enemies around you. Because at the moment, I find it a lot more easier because it's one less button that I've got to press every couple of seconds. Like, you've got to keep using Horn and um, Locust Swarm. Whereas when I've got this around me, I haven't got to press Locust Swarm. Anyone that comes near me within that green circle is going to get infected by it and then it jumps from enemy to enemy. So it's one less button to push. And also, it ensures that everybody is getting infected with it. Because sometimes you can infect people with locust swarm and then it goes around all the mobs but then because another pack of mobs are a certain distance away it doesn't reach them so then you can't got to press it again and you lose track of who's infected with locust swarm and if they haven't got it on them when you press soul harvest that bang you lose a lot of damage so it's easier to have this ring around me at the moment but as the difficulty starts getting harder i'll probably change over to echo in fury which i've actually got there i've got it ready but at the moment i'm not having too much problems with damage because echoing fury increases your attack speed and um, I think it's attack speed and speed in general I can't remember I looked at it, I looked at it earlier it stacks up in fives so I looked at it the other day because it doesn't say what it does but it it does your attack speed up and stuff and your movement speed I think but at the moment I'm just using one but that's what that green circle is around me if you wondered but like I say as it gets harder I might change back over to echoing fury but there we go level 90 done so let's see where we are we're getting there slowly. Greater Rifts. 277 at the moment. That's not too bad. Uh, if I'd done level 91 then, I would have bypassed all of these. But because I'm trying to keep it in 10s, you know, up by 10, 90, 100, 110 and that. See, look, all these people that are above me that are in 90s. If I'd done level 91 then, which I can do now, I'll skip past all these people. There's loads of them, isn't there? Oh, there we go. There's the first level 91. 229. I'll probably do that in a minute. But there we go. Next stop, level 100. Anyways, all the best. Thank you for watching. Again, if you spot anything that I'm doing wrong, you know, feel free to comment because it all helps at the end of the day. And I, I, this character's new to me. And I've rushed through it in like the last week, so I'm missing loads of things. It's like little things I'm not noticing properly. And other people who know which doctor inside out are like, hang on a minute, why is he doing that? You know what I mean? So feel free to comment. And thank you for watching. Big shout out to all of you. Feel free to like and subscribe. And yeah, keep an eye out for level 100, which should be coming very soon within the next couple of days. All the best and have a great start to the week, everybody.